thing, suddenly there's a cloud that passes and cuts the sun away. A soft darkness descends on the place. Then you hear a thunder, maybe even a lightning. Then the rain pours imaginatively or really. Sometimes it happened real in some of the sites. Then the drama of the nature taking over human aspirations and desires seems to be mastering. Suddenly you find a fusion happening. You start realizing the dream and say, boy, something is happening here. The sun starts playing with you. The element starts playing with you. Spaces start forming. These are some of the buildings that just rose from the ground because there was an earth. We looked at the anthills. We looked at the little sparrows flying. We looked at burrows of coffers. And said, if gophers can do it, why can't I? Why can't I with all the technology that I have? But how do I respect the technology? How do I respect that interaction and say, man is softly a conductor, a master? Because you are the master conductor. You are the one that is expressing. You need something to happen. Then I take down the thing. Sometimes when I go, I'll tell you an incident of some of the aspects. I will not mention any particular project because every project to me is as dear, as part of me. However insulting sometimes the clients may be, sometimes abhorring, but they all come back after some time and say, I wish we had followed a little more with you. But that's the journey, that's the steps that one takes. Here, I must tell you, in one space, it is a 45 degree slope. We were walking around the ground. Every other building was built with great difficulty around the spaces. It had a 45 degree slope, and the fellows were building it very difficult to build. Then I looked around. These stones were like elephants. Then I looked at the little deer running around the little ant climbing the slope. I said, which means the site is talking to me and saying, you idiot, why are you building heavy structure here? Build me a light thing, build me an antelope. That is the talk that happens. And when that talk happens, something else happens with elements. They say, we, I can do it. Each one stands up like Alice in Wonderland when you walk in and says, stands up and I can do it for you. I can do it for you. I tell you, it's a magnificent story that one has has to imagine, innovate, and then get involved in. In this journey, we have been involved with also very spiritual people. People say, how do you build a temple? How do you build a huge church or a mosque? I have no aberrations to anybody. Only thing I tell them, sir, I will sit with you in the evening, I'll sit with you in the afternoon, I'll sit here any time with you for a talk and a discussion. You may be the most religious person we have done for the whole range of religious people in this country and abroad. But I say in the evening after the sun sets, I need my single malt. Because without that, my mind doesn't work. I said, if you can accept this, I will accept your prayers, your dreams, and then try and bring it. Then I looked at many things. I looked at ant hills, then I went back thousands of years back. And the human beings did some phenomenal work which we have simply destroyed, which we have simply taken away from our minds and gotten. I walked around some of these spaces around. My mind just gurgles with anger. But when I see the ang spirit of Lord and said, tomorrow is your future. Bring back the ethos that was in this land. I don't mention a particular country, the land of the human being. Bring it forward because something phenomenal happens. I just have a little thing to go a little more on this. But I always tell you, I started with the first slide in the beginning. I started with the slide in the end. Was that the sunrise? Was this the sunset? Is this the sunrise or was that the sunset? I don't know. The photographer knew, but when he gives it to me afterwards, I don't know, what is this? Sometimes they ask him to flip it over again. I just look at it. Nature, billions of years later, I might have created 
thousands of projects, written thousands of uh, presentations and hundreds of papers. But every time I start looking at something else and looking at it again, I find nature doesn't mock at me. It smiles at me and says, I've been here, I will always be here, but I'll always be different. I will always make the difference that counts because the value is in nature all the time. At this point, I think I will take off from you for a fascinating time with you people. It has been a very nervous 15 minutes that I've been with you on this. Is there anything else I could take from you? I'll take it from. But architecture is an adventure. Architecture is a profession. Architecture is a passion. And Fountainhead has been my little single malt that takes my spirit all the time, over and over again. I'm done for now. Thank you.